There is often no line between work and home. The war controls it all. This is how the people of Bosnia-Herzegovina television have been working and living. And this is their report of that life. Every morning they come here from the various places in the city. Everyone comes to do its job. And that is somewhat an adventure because all the cars must pass the dangerous sniper crossing. A day later this car was hit. Three people were wounded. They come as citizens, as family men and women, worried and undernourished. A lot of them left their homes destroyed or badly damaged. Some of them lost literally everything they had had. Many of them do not have any news of their respective families or relatives. But they enter this building as professionals and they remain pros. They stay days and nights. If need be, they eat here. They have nothing more than the others. Some of them have their children with them here. Some of them have been expelled from their own homes and they find their new home right here. The war served as an impetus for all the creative potentials in this building. This is their first encounter with pictures of massacre in one of the streets of Sarajevo. Both radio and television Sarajevo became during the war days the radio and television of Bosnia and Herzegovina. We are not alone anymore. Everyday tapes and information broadcast in the world agencies news finally warned the world that something very dramatic was taking place in Sarajevo and Bosnia and Herzegovina. This is neither Saigon nor Beirut nor Bucharest. It is something much worse. Because of the war, getting that report, CNN World Report,